Hello, 안녕하세요. My name is Sujin Han, and I am the director of the Autonomous Control for Stochastic Systems Laboratory. Most of you watching this video are probably already familiar with the concept of autonomous control. Artificial intelligence, AI in particular, has revolutionized the way we build autonomous systems because of their good generalization to highly nonlinear dynamics and ability to handle uncertainties and stochastic environments. Nowadays, the attention is focused on hyperscale AI due to the recent successes of generative AI models like ChatGPT, DALI, etc., and the need to support fast and reliable decision making at a much larger scale involving tens of millions of simultaneous queries. As a consequence, AI needs enormous amounts of data and high performance computing like NVIDIA's Blackwell platform in order to meet demands. The current solution adopted by most industries is to gather more of these resources, increase compute, increase data centers, basically increase everything. But training huge models like that on large amounts of data is extremely inefficient. Humans still remain as the golden example that good generalization is possible with limited training data, particularly because of our ability to learn patterns and transfer them to similar tasks. From an engineering perspective, less data-hungry algorithms for controlling autonomous systems like model-based methods derived from math, physics, can be combined with AI or data-driven model-free methods in order to improve the data efficiency. So this motivates the research we're doing at ACSS, pattern learning and model-based versus model-free control. So many real world systems exhibit patterns, patterns in time like vehicle arrival processes over the time and day of week, patterns in space such as the network structure and multi-agent systems. By expanding the capabilities of model-based control design, we only need to add the model-free part as a supplement instead of using it end to end. For example, Gaussian white noise is very appealing to study for stochastic systems because of its convenient properties like the central limit theorem and linearity. But any system which does not fit the Gaussian assumption, like sudden impulsive jumps, is usually left for AI to learn, even though ways to mathematically model them exist, like Poisson processes. Now, there's already a wide branch of literature out there on pattern recognition methods, for example, geometric notions of patterns inspired by group theory have been studied before in equivariant neural network architectures for computer vision applications. But our lab ex uh, aims to extend that further by learning correlations in patterns. And an essential part of that is the inclusion and definition of what we call approximate patterns. So exact patterns let us map the original configuration space down to a lower dimensional configuration space, but without a notion of distance. So by concretely defining a similarity metric for comparing patterns that are not exactly equivalent, i.e. approximate patterns, we can now properly reduce the configuration space of a system and analyze it in the lower dimensional state space. A seminal result from math and physics called Noether's theorem helps us with that by relating symmetries with conservation laws in the system. And her results can be extended to non-conservative forces, which help us with defining similarities beyond symmetries. Now you can build off of and significantly improve the decision-making pipeline based on the approximate patterns that we described before. That's also what our lab is researching. We can design equivalence classes to group together approximate patterns under some quantization rule defined by the similarity metric I mentioned before, such that the quantized policy assigns the same action to all patterns in the same equivalence class. We can also include memory and prediction to further improve data efficiency. So for example, in vehicle traffic intersections, in fact, one important class of applications we are studying in our lab is large scale network control. So in there, patterns can be predicted from traffic routine, like heavy congestion in the morning and the evening weekday commutes and network structure of the rectangular grid. Common traffic patterns can also be memorized along with their corresponding optimal light signal sequences. Now, approximate patterns are grouped into the same equivalence class and treated the same if they are very similar 
to each other. And here, very similar could mean that their distance on the pattern configuration space is less than some user chosen epsilon. Now, because our research includes both theory and broad algorithm development, it spans a wide variety of applications, especially sequential decision-making tasks. This includes distributed sensor fusion and robust adaptive online planning in uncertain environments. In summary, here at the ACSS lab, our overall research direction is the development of AI-based autonomous decision-making by learning approximate patterns and their correlations, enabling us to achieve a better balance between model-based and model-free methods. The big goal is to improve the data consumption issues we are facing with AI and nowadays hyperscale AI and lead us towards a far more efficient and sustainable future with autonomy.